I realise that we're in a minority. But the good news is, that doesn't matter. Because we do not seek power, we seek change. And a minority can change the behaviour patterns of a society, with a recent study suggesting that as little as 3.5% of a population is needed in order to kickstart significant change. 3.5% of committed thought and action for a drop to become a river to become an ocean. And apparently, it's not down to massive funding either. Although, of course, that would be lovely. <laughs> no, the only resource we actually need is tenacity. Sheer bloody-mindedness. Well, bloody-minded I can do. And I'm okay with failure as well. In fact, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Better to try and fail than fail by not trying. Yeah. Isn't that what we all teach our kids? Ultimately, real, profound regret is born of the things we did not do, not of those we did. Malta may prove to be a tougher audience than some, but with a bit of luck, and a fair wind is worth a punt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We all fear social, economic, and even physical reprisal, given how the powerful collectively and collusively respond to criticism. And there can be no clearer illustration of this than the brutal assassination of Daphne Caruana Galizia. But as much as I fear all of these things, I fear much more. <coughs> the one day my son will pose another question. What did you do about it? Uh, yes. yeah. And when he does, because he will, I'm determined that my answer will not be nothing. <laughs>